Hello, welcome to Whiskey Impressions. My name is Philip, and today we are tasting the Dalmore 12 year old. Now, I wanted to do a bourbon episode this time, but they didn't have Four Roses single barrel, which I really wanted. And uh, I was thinking about Jack Daniels single barrel, but then I was then I was like, man, I can just add a few bucks and have Dalmore 12. So I grabbed this and now here we are. So hopefully this is gonna be good. Uh, this is actually a whiskey with a story uh, about this, how this stack got here. It goes many, many centuries ago. King Alexander III was hunting and there was a stack that charged him and was about to kill him. And chief of the clan Mackenzie's uh, bravely saved him while shouting save the king he was only one of the men that was with the king that did something actually and uh, he speared the stack and King Alexander I think he gave him land and more importantly he gave him right uh, to use this emblem of the stack and in 1867 I think uh, Mackenzie's bought the Dalmore distillery and therefore that's how the stack got here so it's a whiskey with a story and that's what is making it even even more exciting I think uh, this bottle looks beautiful so very good marketing uh, I'm not sure if it would appear to me as much if the stack uh, was not there <laughs> you have to admit that also the Richard Patterson is a huge person all over the YouTube tasting whiskey nosing it uh, pouring you know <laughs> you know slashing it on the ground <laughs> that's ridiculous I love the guy by the way so let's get to actual tasting I should have looked how to open this bottle before I began this video, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go. I cannot wait. Uh, this is supposed to be a not at all smoky whiskey and I didn't have a scotch that is not smoky yet. Okay, so let's go to the nosing. Hello. How are you? Quite well. Thank you. Um. I'm having, I smell something similar in Highland Park 12 year old and that makes me excited because I love Highland Park. Kinda sweet, not very much, a little citrusy, just like I think it's written even on, on this package. Is it possible I'm getting marzipan on, on the nose? I think it is because I do. Uh, only thing I don't like about this whiskey so far is uh, that they add coloring. Uh, I, it doesn't really bother me, but uh, I would appreciate if it's, if it was natural color. Okay, let's go. Citrusy, not super sweet like I expected. Some people said it was almost like a bourbon, not like bourbons I tasted so far. Uh, they are, I think, a little sweeter. It is sweet, but not, not as much as I expected. Beautiful vanilla. Honey, I don't know about the walnut people think about, I'm, I'm not getting that at all. Uh, citrusy, definitely. Uh, I like it so far very much. Let's try adding a little water to it. Even Mr. Patterson does it, so uh, I don't think it's a bad decision. And let's see if it opens up some new flavors to, these, to this whiskey. Very curious. Ooh. Something new on the nose. The vanilla is very strong on the nose now. Vanilla cream, I guess. 
Yeah, oh, this is very nice. Yeah, it opened up the nose, even this little water opened up the nose very nicely. Yeah, I feel like it's sweeter now. And I can, now I can see why people are telling it's like a bourbon. Now I get it. Oh, it's even, even the spices are now coming out. To sum it up, I like this very much. I'm very glad I have this. I thought it was a little fr friendlier than it is. Uh, it's not uh, exactly super friendly. Not a beginner whiskey, I think, at all. Uh, but I think my wife is gonna like it. She doesn't like smoky whiskey, so uh, this might be uh, really good for her. Uh, if you are hesitating to get Dalmore 12 or not, I don't think you will be disappointed. It's rich, it's nice, uh, and, and that's it. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a comment what whiskey should I do next. See you next time.